My name is uh, Major Alex Goyech. I'm the chief pilot of Kenya, Kenya Power. My responsibility in Kenya Power is to maintain the high voltage lines from 132 kilo volt, 220 kilo volt, up to 400 kilo volt. I do line inspection and on maintenance we do tower top inspection, replacement of the insulators, uh, laying of the conductors. When uh, we are doing the power line inspection, we are looking for faults. For example, uh, when we had a problem between Bulgaria and, uh, and Dandora, first and foremost we get report from the Nairobi Control Centre. The uh, Nairobi Control Centre gives us the estimates where there is a fault. We do line inspection. We fly very low level near the line. Near the line where my team members can see the line properly. Uh, after no, uh, getting the fault, our job is to go back to start the next phase of repairing uh, or addressing the fault. We go back to the base to collect materials, tools, and to organize the other team members coming on ground. In this operation, we have two groups of uh, people. They are mobile team, those who are operating from the helicopter, and the ground team, those who are coming by road with vehicles, because we need tools and we need more equipment by, uh, coming by, by road. Uh, my role, basically, uh, at the central office is to coordinate all the transmission teams together uh, in conjunction with the chief pilot. We basically work with the chief pilot and uh, other supervisors who take care of the ground teams and provide the overall coordination and connection to the of the teams to the rest of the top management. We need to con uh, coordinate with the controllers at the national center. We need to con uh, coordinate with the pilot, the live men who are flying to ensure that the task is, uh, the objective of the task is achieved at the end of the day. <laughs> Okay, before we conduct this operation, we have preliminary checks. This entails the test of the line. And this line is electric control. I control from the cockpit. So we test the line and I cut the line while it's on the ground to make sure it is serviceable. We start flying once we have tested the line is safe and it operates, uh, it is serviceable. Normally I'm under quite a good uh, amount of pressure because uh, I form the link between the management uh, in the office and what is happening on the ground. So I have to keep uh, giving the feedback. But apart from that also, I have to coordinate very well with my supervisors to ensure that we finish the job within the required uh, uh, time and also with each and every member of the team safe. Uh, the level of coordination is uh, is very very I can say uptight. If it's an emergency, we have to swing into action very fast to come to the ground, brief, see the people who are in the proper state of mind for the job, because some may have travelled from far or are unwell. Uh, a certain who is to take the a particular task, and then uh, you ensure you coordinate all of them with the people at the control centre. Mm -hmm. If it's a planned routine job. We, we, we start preparing like uh, a week before because we need to alert uh, relevant authorities what you'll be doing on the ground. When we are doing inspection, we normally get problems, uh, faults like a snap insulator, an insulator has, has, has cut and the conductor has come down, or a complete tower, the pylon, has come down due to vandalism. Those are the things, we, and also uh, like the trees, maybe a tree falls on a line and it cuts the line. It brings, it brings uh, an outage. Those are the things we, we check. We also have weather conditions. Weather can impair our operations. In case of bad weather, we stop the operation. If as a pilot, you are not stable in the mine, we stop the operation because we consider the safety first. Even the team members must be safe. Now, during the uh, operation, we co coordinate with the team members because I'm picking them from the ground, going up. We use radios and use signs. When I'm lifting a team member, he does this sign. That is going up.
and I know he's ready to leave the ground by showing me these signs. Mm -hmm. Now, when I see this sign, I now tighten the long line, going up slowly, slowly until the line is tightened. Then I lift him slowly, because you can jack him, you hurt him. Kazi yangu ni kumpea ishara venya naeza ni inuwa chini ya sija kani umiza na pia wale watu tuko nao kutifanya kazi. Nikitaka kuinuliwa chini na mfanyia hivi, hii singi no inamuonyesha ni inuwe juu. Sa hile ni nimesha afika na mfanyia hivi mali ya menipeleka kwa hiyo chuma hile naenda kufanyia kazi. Nikitaka nitoe na mleta hivi ya nileta chini kwa nini. So I lift him slowly, going up, I go above the, uh, the pylon above the tower. Mm -hmm. When I'm above the tower, I may not judge the depth, uh, the distance from him to the tower. Mm -hmm. so because there is depth perception because of distance. Mm -hmm. He now, he shows, once I'm on top of the, the pylon, he gives me the signs to tell me, go down, go down. When, once he's on top of the, uh, on top of the tower, it does like this. That's when I know he has reached. So I stabilize the aircraft and I stop there. He lands on the tower, he, he, he removes the, my line, and then I leave. First and foremost, this operation is very dangerous. It needs highly trained personnel, from the pilot to the team members, their mobile team members. You must do training because uh, safety is paramount. That's why we go that training for mental and also physical. Mm -hmm. Yes, no mistakes is allowed in that department. Mm -hmm. Yes. Before you are left alone to do this work, you must satisfy the, the company that you can do safely. So, when we are doing this operation, you training is number one. You must be well trained and you have enough rest. Every time I sleep before nine, you must have enough rest. Because without enough rest, you can cause an accident the following day. When we are doing this operation, we also consider weather, the prevailing weather conditions. If they are conducive for the operation, we do. If the weather conditions are not conducive for the operation, we cancel the exercise. Uh, we have obstacles around the area. When you are you see, you realize our lines are passing through the remote areas. And we have trees, we have mountains or hills, and also the line itself is a danger. And the pylons, the towers. Uh, uh, we, we were very uh, lucky for that day. We had a planned job for with the chopper, an aerial uh, maintenance job. So we were arranging for another job to happen somewhere else. Then uh, apparently we got a call that, uh, that, that, that the, the, the lights were out, it was a national blackout. Oh. So it was very easy to coordinate my team to swing to Kiambu. Yes, it was a tense moment mm -hmm. because uh, of the extent of what happened. It had affected the whole country and uh, we braved it and together with the team we were able to overcome. This one uh, is because sometimes the ground teams, they can also do the job when the weather is not very favorable and uh, the chopper cannot do. Sometimes you'll notice that it is raining and we have to restore the power. So sometimes uh, after that, what the difference is that now what happens is uh, we have to switch off the line and now get to the second method, which is now is uh, we have to switch off the power, uh, of course, because of the safety. But with the live line, the power is still on and you do the work. We want you as a consumer at home there to have your power uninterrupted and therefore we started a training in fact they have trained on uh, distribution lines the line that serve you at home so that you don't uh, you don't realize when they are maintaining the lines you'll just be enjoying your power supply as they do their work because our conscience is very clear that uh, we are doing the job for the country uh, together with the team we don't normally get perturbed or disturbed we focus on the job and look at the end result because at the end of the day when the power is restored the Kenyans, the same Kenyans become very happy and all we all celebrate. We are doing operation when the 
most of the time when the power line is, is live. Mm -hmm. So we, because of the coordination between me and their mobile members team, and the, the, the mobile members, we coordinate to make sure we are safe. There are many things which go down, be, 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 which go, go on in the background, which uh, we don't normally have a chance to show to the Kenyans, but we would like to assure the Kenyans that uh, we have a very strong team and very committed and dedicated team, right from the top, top management to the last craftsman who works for this, this company. We are very committed towards ensuring that the country has stable supplies all the time.